Pisces. Oh, hi, how are you guys? I'm Raul Rodriguez, owner of Cash Money Constructions Incorporated. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me here today. I'll be talking to you guys about the beginning steps of what it looks like when we are here at the construction site building our house. As you can see, there's multiple empty lots. So for a community like this, it would take three to four years to finally people start moving in. Uh, but we got multiple of our workers over there doing work as we speak. Those houses are being finalized right now. They added the drywall and they're being painted. But follow me, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So at this construction site, it's usually not, uh, it's usually bigger. For a site like this, it's probably three to four years before people start moving in. So we work about three to four years, building up all these houses, all these empty lots that you see. Uh, and then other people come and do the drywall and carpeting and stuff like that. But we mainly build uh, structures like this, just the main structure out of bricks. And you can see we have um, all these metal pipes. Follow me, I'll walk you in. We have all the water pipes set up and all that. This house is nowhere near being close. They still have to build the wooden, uh, the wooden frame and then the roof. Then they gotta put the insulation and then you have to have the drywall people come. So, but this is what we mainly do. That's all the other, all the drywall and stuff is for other people to do. That's how it kind of mainly works on construction sites. Uh, it's like a partnership, but like the people who are in charge of their own tasks do their tasks and then the other companies come in and do what they have to do to get the house to the final product. Um, so if we walk over here, this is actually my material. As you can see, like I was talking earlier, we still haven't built the wooden frame for the inside of the house nor the roof. So this is all the plywood and all that that would be used for that. We actually haven't started on this house, but that house over there is being worked on as we speak. And then the houses over there are being finalized. Come here. The houses over there are being finalized and you can see what a final product would look like versus the beginning steps to building a house. Oh, hey, you must be here for the interview. Please come in, take a seat. Uh, welcome to my office. Uh, here I'll be explaining you guys how things kind of work from here. As I'm the owner, I mainly work from my office. So in my office, uh, I do the invoices, which is when we finish a lot, I will send the invoice to the, to the construction company so that we could get paid from there. Uh, I do a whole bunch of paperwork. I'm always write, writing down um, like how much wood is needed per lot and, and stuff like that. And also when my guys are short on materials, when they're working out in the construction site, they will call me, I'll do the orders, I'll put in the orders and I'll have all the plywood or whatever they need delivered at the spot. So what was your career path? Um, I went to Valencia. I got my AA in general studies at Valencia and then I transferred to UCF and got my bachelor's degree in business and management. Um, a class that really helped me out and really like got me on track to be where I am today was a uh, new student experience with my professor, uh, Professor Carls. She made me realize the importance of following your career path and setting goals for yourself so that you could be successful in the future. I took new student experience my freshman year in college. And in this class, I was given an assessment that provided five strengths. My five strengths were input, analytical, belief, responsibility, and restorative. What does it take to be a business owner? Being a business owner requires a lot of responsibility and it is also important that you are very organized, not just with the paperwork, but with the payroll. Keeping track of who works, how many hours, so they receive correct pay. What sparked your interest in being a construction business owner and what's your purpose? I first got into construction my sophomore year in high school. My father owned his own painting business, so I was always with him working at the uh, job site similar to the one that you saw in the beginning of the video. My purpose is to provide well-built houses so that families could then move in and live happy. Um, here at Cash Money Constructions Inc., we do the best that we can. We are the number one builder in Orlando. We build anything from homes to buildings. Um, and we, we're a very successful company. Thank you for coming to the interview today, but I unfortunately have run out of time. I have to do a couple things for my workers. Um, but here, take a business card. Hit us up if you need any reference for future work.